guys to another vlog. It's currently 20 past five and it's a pretty busy day today. I've got some electrical work on, I gotta do. And I've gotta go do a photo shoot up in Brisbane as well. So yeah, up a bit earlier. Usually at the moment I'm getting up around five or 5.30 and then running. I've probably been running around 6.30 but we're getting it done a little bit earlier. So I've got my double shot coffee here. I have a coffee every morning. Um, to be honest, it just gives me a bit of energy. I actually go to the toilet so I'm not clogged up while I'm trying to run. And then in here, we've got about six or 700 mils of water with one and a half scoops of this Endura powder, which that is pretty much just like carbs and electrolytes, so it's gonna keep me fueled throughout the run. Um, I always have a shower as soon as I wake up in the morning as well. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of my morning routine. Um, I'm gonna smash this down and then, so it's 5.20 now, I probably should start running sometime before six, but. We're ready for this run. Got a Nike cap on, got my Oakley Radar sunnies on. We're in the heart rate monitor today. Just want a better reading of the heart rate. Nike shorts on. Underneath we've got the LSKD tights on. And for the shoes today, we're going with the Nike Invincible Run 2s. Um, the, the Invincible Run 3s come out literally today, so I might even see if they have those in store today, but yeah. I'm keen to try those out if they have them. I will, I've been hanging out to get my, myself a pair. So, yeah, um, let's go smash this run out though. I got my camera, my small um, small camera, so I'll show you guys my daily running route that I go pretty much every day. Made it down, we hit 5.6 kilometers. That's pretty much straight from home, straight out my front door. That's where I get to run every morning. So you guys probably seen from other videos that I run around the spit and go for a swim and stuff after, but if I am having a busy day, or this is probably just my normal route anyway. It's not as fancy as the other one, but it's still really nice. I think I'm spoiled for choice when I can run down to the water like every day. But yeah, check that out. It's actually a beautiful morning. Sun hasn't come up yet. Yeah, I've been running lately. The sun's been out, it's been so humid. It's actually not too bad this morning compared to the last few mornings. And I think I really need to start getting up at this time again, rather than run at 6.30. Run it, yeah, out the door at like 5.45 kind of miss that heat but um yeah beautiful morning we're gonna finish this run up and then yeah i'll have a chat to you guys when i finish all right just wrapped up that run i think we did it in around so it was 10 kilometers around 51 minutes 40 or something so a little bit slower than normal to be honest um trained legs yesterday heavy squats managed to get a one rep max of 140 so yeah, legs are holding strength, overall holding strength, while kilometres with running, if I've upped it to about 70 or 80 kilometres at the moment. But um, yeah, legs were sore, um, heart rate was was just jumping up real high. So yeah, just had to back it off a little bit to probably like 5, 10 pace. Um, but yeah, once I did that, kind of dropped. So yeah, average heart rate around 147, which isn't too bad. But um, yeah, just remember guys, if you are, doing this hybrid style training and you're training legs and, and all that stuff. Just remember it's gonna get hard and also like you just gotta push through it. Just make it easy. Like if you train legs middle of the week, Thursday, Friday, um, yeah, just drop the pace back a little bit. 
the heart rate's still going to be there to stay in that zone too. You're still going to build the fitness. You're still going to build the aerobic base. So, yeah, I'm about to head home. I'm about 100 metres away. Going to cook up some brekkie. All right, guys, refuel after the run is 50 grams of oats. And then I've, I mix that with almond milk, put it in the microwave for like three minutes. And then we got a scoop of this chocolate protein mixed with it. One bit medium banana with some sprinkles on there. I've been loving the sprinkles on there for some reason. I don't know, it just tastes good. And it's not too bad, like extra calories wise. Um, we got some honey on there as well. So that is like my favorite meal of the day. I'm a bit of a sweet tooth, so that kind of gets me by. Um, vitamins here, we got fish oil, multivitamin, two magnesium, and one glucosamine. And then we've got um, a shaker full of water with one scoop of recovery of the gods, BCAAs, and pretty much electrolytes and stuff. So that's gonna get me going, um, keep me fueled for the next couple of hours. I do have an electrical job, but I think I'm gonna go to the office and kind of just do, just catch up on emails and just have a quick look at um, everything on my computer. Look at me, tradie. <laughs> uh, I got, um, I am still doing like electrical work occasionally. So yeah, some of you guys been asking about that because that was the main thing that I was doing. Obviously I got a lot of other things going on. I'm doing my coaching and stuff now, but um, yeah, I gotta go meet up with a client because I've just been, I've just pretty much been doing work for clients that I already have. I haven't really been chasing work, but if stuff comes in, I've just been doing it. So that's what I gotta do this morning. Kitchen renovation, so I gotta go meet like, yeah, client and, whoever's doing the kitchen and just go through everything, um, kind of get that sorted. But after that, I think I'm going to go to Pack Fair and I'm gonna see if they have those new Nike Invincibles because I want the specific colorway and I reckon they're gonna sell out pretty quick. So I reckon I might try get there around nine and I'm hoping that Australia is the, like the same as ever else. Like they come out, they're supposed to come out today. So let's hope they actually have them there. And um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to do it do a review and stuff on them, compare them to the Invincible 2s. But yeah, let's um, let's head off. I'll probably, um, after that, come back and train. So we're gonna hit a shoulder session, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So meeting went good at that job. I'm gonna get started on it on Monday, but um, we're at Pack Fair now. So I'm gonna go in and see if they have these shoes. Hopefully they do. We got lucky. Oh my god! This gotta be. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna say it now. It's gotta be the best looking shoe of the year. They had them. They just literally brought them out from back in their like little stock room out the back. But yeah, we copped them, size 10. So next video, I reckon we're gonna do a review of these and compare them to the version two that I had on this morning, but yeah, man, I'm happy. These look amazing. All right, we're getting ready to train because I've got to head up to Brisbane at one o'clock. I think I'm gonna head up there and it's currently 10, 15 or 16. Just took Lil Murph for a walk. He thinks I'm gonna take him again. But um, yeah, we're having our pre-workout. I've been having these cans. I got these sent to me, so I'm gonna have one of those, but also need to take my creatine as well. And I still take this pump before every workout. So I have one scoop of that with, um, with five grams of creatine just in a shaker there. So I'll smash that down and then um, I will have one of these cans, which these are actually really good and they taste really good as well. And then yeah, we're just training in the home gym today because like I said, I'm in a little bit of a rush. All right guys, I thought I'd just do a little voiceover for this workout today. So hitting some shoulders, just pretty much like warmed up with some light um, lateral raises. Now I'll go into some other lateral raises later on, but um, yeah, pretty much just started with those lighter weights for the warm up. Jumped into some shoulder press. I love 
If I'm doing shoulders just by themselves, I love starting it with shoulder press. Um, just usually work my way up in weight, usually do like one or two warm up sets and then I'll move up and do some heavier weights. I do like pushing some heavy weights at the start of my session. So I think those first sets of dumbbells are around 22 kilos or something. Then I'm a bit limited at home with, with what I've actually got, but these are 30 kilo dumbbells. Um, whenever I do shoulder press, I always make sure I'm trying to keep my form as good as possible. Um, a lot of people just don't go full range of motion and they think they're tough, they think they're strong, but they're literally like not even going down to like 90 degrees. So I pride myself on like doing a lot of solid reps um, and <laughs> I wanted to test my strength. So these are actually 40 kilo dumbbells. Um, and yeah, I felt, I felt pretty good. Like considering how much running I'm doing at the moment and um, like the body fat, um, I'm not holding much body fat and stuff. I'm really holding like a fair bit of strength. So I've really pushed hard for like these three reps, like just here, purely just to test my strength because I love pushing heavy weight. Um, but yeah, just the one set of those and then I backed it off to the 30 kilo dumbbells again. As you can see, just, just getting the form like perfect on those back offsets and just really doing it slow and controlled. You probably see like in a lot of these exercises, like I really start to struggle at the end of my reps. You can see in my facial expressions, like I really go all out in my workouts. You'll see this later on, but that's the, that's the way you're gonna grow. Like you need to be training hard. Um, this is, so we ended up doing around four, four or five sets on the shoulder press and then I moved into this super set. Now this is like a seated lateral raise and obviously I got like a tiny, a little bit of swing going on there, but all in all it's pretty like controlled movement um, all the way up. And as you can see, I'm kind of just coming like parallel with my shoulders. I'm not lifting the dumbbells way above, like near my head, I'm just kind of, yeah, keeping them by my side. And as you can see here, I just really push hard for those extra reps. With shoulders in particular, I've found that training with volume, um, a lot of reps, a lot of supersets is the best way to grow your delts. Um, so what we've done here, we've had the, had the lateral raises with the 10 kilo dumbbells. Now I've got the seven kilos and I've just pretty much um, burning out those front delts. Like you can see I'm getting a pretty good pump. It was nice and warm in the home gym because this has been stinking hot here on the Gold Coast, but like I really enjoyed this session and I felt like I really pushed hard. Whenever I'm filming stuff as well, it makes me push that extra, um, extra effort. So we did a few sets of those. It's just like a different angle. So you can see, I think I did three or four sets of these, but um, yeah, great super set and like, yeah, one of the best ways to grow your shoulders, just a lot of raises, a lot of, a lot of dumbbell stuff, dumbbell cables. Um, I don't like a lot of using like a lot of um, shoulder press machines or anything like that. I really like just burning out my shoulders with lots of volume, lots of supersets with mostly all just dumbbells. And I'm just gonna move this camera around because um, my laptop sounds like it's gonna blow up, but, yeah, we kept going here. As you can see, just really um, pushing hard on those reps. Three to four sets of those, and then we got these upright rows. Now, I did previously kind of do these um, the wrong way, I feel. Like I was probably keeping, not having the, yeah, I probably didn't have the bar close enough to my actual um, chest, so, and just close to my body. I used to have it out a bit wider, so really focusing now on just keeping that bar close and keeping those elbows. And as you can see, when I'm doing these reps, my elbows aren't going above my shoulders. It comes about parallel and that's about it. <laughs> I was feeling good, so we got a little bit of posing going on here. I've been actually been thinking about maybe stepping on stage and doing like a fitness modeling like competition again. Um, I did compete when I was er like early 20s and I'm a lot older now. Back then I was a bit of a, a juice head, but um, yeah, now I'm just like fully natural, but probably feeling like the best I've ever felt, even physique wise, feel like at the moment I've probably got the f best physique that I ever have. Um, 
and yeah, just feeling amazing. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking at the moment, like why not just give that, give a competition another shot. Um, the back has developed so much compared to like when I used to compete, I had no back at all, just didn't know how to train it. So I feel like that's one of the areas that I've really brought up. And man, I just, I love doing the, yeah, posing and stuff like that and just kind of seeing the, seeing the growth in my physique. But um, we jumped into some heavy shoulder press after that. We got the 30 kilo dumbbells, I'm pretty sure here. And um, yeah, just focusing on that squeeze at the top. A lot of, you'll probably notice with a lot of these, the rep range is just all over the place. With shoulders, I just really like going for volume. So I won't particularly like, um, I won't particularly like pick a, um, a number of reps I'm going for. I'll really just go until I'm absolutely exhausted and just, I wanna feel like when I'm walking out of there, like my shoulders are just absolutely cooked. And I feel like the best way for me to do that is just kind of go to that 10 to 15 rep range and really just burn them out. So you notice after the, after the shrugs, we're pretty much moving on to a bit of rear delts. So what that's what I'll usually do with shoulders. I'll start on the, with the side and front delts and all that and then I'll move on to like traps and rear delts as well and sometimes I'll train like rear delts um, and traps like twice a week just because I feel like they're like a lagging body part I don't really have like big traps at all same with like rear delts so I wouldn't mind growing those so that's like one of my priorities at the moment but um yeah jumped into about three sets of the shrugs and then three sets of the of the face pulls and then literally just finished off with a few sets of abs. So what I'll usually do for abs is just some leg raises. Start off with straight leg and then once you burn out, which for me is pretty quick, I'll just jump on like, I'll just change it to like a, a knee tuck or like a hanging like knee raise. And then I'll try to yeah do those ones on the side, as you can see, just to hit the obliques um, a little bit. And then that was pretty much the end of the workout. I pretty much just did like three or four sets of these and finished it up but yeah we're looking pretty lean at the moment i'm feeling good like i said feeling strong feeling lean and fast and fit so that's the workout done guys all right guys post workout meal probably see it there we got around 250 grams of chicken that's cooked weight um, 100 grams of veggies and 80 grams of pasta so yeah meal two I'm literally about to leave. I gotta leave at 12 and it's like 11.40 now. So I'm gonna smash this down and then head up to this shoot. If I can, I'll get a little bit of behind the scenes stuff, but if not, um, yeah, it is what it is. All right, now, <laughs> before I just demolish the rest of this food, I just wanted to mention like, if you guys wanna stay on track and um, yeah, diet and just get like good results, you're probably gonna to have to meal prep your food. Um, it's like, people find it so hard or they just want to make excuses about like diet especially like they don't have time for this they don't have time for that well for me personally like i prep all my food on sunday like majority like if i wanted to i could prep every single meal for the next seven days just in one day but it's like anyone could do that but they just choose not to so it's like what i do on a sunday i prep two meals for every day, Monday to Friday. So that, that way, within like my work hours or like standard hours throughout the day, I know that I'm gonna be on track because I've already got it all prepped. My breakfast, I make just after I go for my run, I make my oats in the morning, and then dinner, I just make whatever I feel like and I mix the dinner up. That's where I get a bit of variety. But in between that, I eat the same foods every day and it gets good results. Um, majority, of, a lot of people don't wanna do that, but in order to get like good results, um, especially like now you guys, a lot of you guys that follow me, I do like obviously do a lot of running and performance wise, I need a, my diet to be on point. Like I no longer just think about everything as just calories. Like everything I eat has got to be good for my performance. So like it, for my morning run, I've got energy good to go or if I'm going to do like a speed workout or go for like one of these 10 kilometer runs where I'm trying to run like full pelt for like 35 to 40 minutes, then I need my body to be fueled. So just keep in mind, um, yeah, you might have to prep. It's not always gonna be like the most enjoyable shit. Like, but in reality, this is nice. Like 
I don't have bland chicken, I've got to season, they've got nice sauce, I've got pasta there, it's like it's a good meal. So that's all I've got to say about that. Um, if you need to, make sure you prep your food guys because that's one of the biggest reasons um, I stay on track and I perform the way I do it day in, day out. It's purely diet. About to head off, got my water bottle. I fill this bottle up like probably like five, six times a day. And just as soon as I empty it, fill it up again. Keep hydrated and just gonna take a few snacks up because I'll probably have a meal when I get back. So we've got a little LCM. Also had one of these before I trained, which I forgot to show you guys. So yeah, these apples are pretty small as well. So I'm gonna take a couple of those up and they should just fill me up until I get back home. All right, we're at the shops. So I'm gonna go in, do this photo shoot. Hopefully um, I'll be able to get a little bit of footage. Otherwise I'll see you guys after. All right, we're back home. Um, shoot went really well. <laughs> they got me like, it was mostly video content, just like speaking like different lines and stuff like that in store at Urban Wear. But um, yeah, I've just come home. It's time for another meal. So I'll just flip it around. We have got here 100 grams of pasta and we've got, I think it's around 200 grams of um, cooked um, extra lean beef mince there. So that is my third kind of decent sized meal for the day and it's around three or, f I think it's around four o'clock actually, on the dot. So yeah, love this meal. Now, um, yeah, I've pretty much got a bit of free time now. So what I will probably be doing, um, as this is like a day in the life video, so I'm trying to show you guys everything. So yeah, I'm probably gonna start editing this video uh, maybe edit some reels, stuff like that, because a lot of my work now is actually just creating content, uploading content, um, and then also just making sure all my online clients are all good. So yeah, it's probably, probably what I'm gonna do for the next couple hours, and then I'll cook up some dinner and stuff later on. Show you the rest of the night pretty much what I do and what food and stuff I eat. Currently making my smoothie, so I've got 120 grams of mango there, frozen, and 100 grams of banana. And what I'll pretty much do is I'll just fill that up to like kind of where that fruit is with almond milk, and then I'll just put one scoop of vanilla protein in there. All right, look at this. So that's what happens when you mix it with all the fruit and almond milk, it's pretty much like a thick shake and it actually fills you up like so much compared to just like a normal protein shake. Even like protein mixed with almond milk isn't that thick, but that is like a proper thick shake and it fills you up for like a few hours. All right, dinner getting served up. We've got the air fryer, trusty old air fryer. And we got 500 grams, that's raw weight of spud light potatoes. And I'm gonna put them in that basket there and then in the air fryer for about 22 minutes. And then I'll show you once they're done. Look at those chips. Just gonna chuck this on here. This is about 200 grams of extra lean beef mince just with taco seasoning. I'm just gonna go bang straight on there. And I'll probably put some barbecue sauce on there as well. About to head to bed. I'm gonna have a little ice cream. But um, yeah, thanks for watching another day in the life video. Um, if you did like it, drop a comment. Like it, of course. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Catch you later.